Welcome to Tech Wizard Zamo. In this video, we are going to learn about the the answer of this question: What is the event-based trigger in Azure Data Factory, and where you have used it? So, event-based uh, triggers uh, when an event happen, uh, and then uh, they will uh, trigger our pipeline, uh, such as uh, maybe in the blob storage or data lake, uh, we will create a file. Uh, that's an event of creating a file, uh, or uh, maybe we delete a file. Uh, that's an event of deleting a uh, uh, file. In those cases of uh, or those are type of events uh, we would like a uh, trigger happening uh, to our pipeline and uh, that's where uh, we use uh, this event based uh, trigger so let's say you have uh, this uh, azure blob storage here and then um, in this uh, called input folder and if i create a, a file here or maybe a drop a file here when i say drop mean delete a file here that should uh, trigger my Azure pipeline. That's what I would like to do. So in uh, the Azure Data Factory, I'm going to go ahead and create a pipeline. Here we have a create a pipeline. Uh, that's uh, not going to have a whole lot of things. It's going to be simple PL pipeline and uh, I'm going to say event uh, test. Okay. Now this pipeline is going to have only one activity. That's a wait activity. So this does not need any linked services or anything like that. So simple wait activity and there is going to be wait for one second and complete. Now here I'm going to go to the add trigger and the add go to the new and then I'm going to choose a trigger here. So go ahead and new and here you can see that the trigger three is automatically given. The name is given. So I'm going to call this one even trigger and uh, that's what I, I'm going to name it and instead of uh, type uh, schedule I'm going to change to the storage events um, that means uh, any event such as that creating a file or uh, deleting a file is happening uh, so it is asking uh, where you would like to check those events so I'm going to go for my subscription and uh, then I'm going to provide uh, the storage uh, account uh, for which I would like to check. So here is my blob storage and uh, then uh, it is asking me hey provide the container name and the name should be in this format. Uh, so I'm going to actually go and drop down and just select the input folder that's uh, our container name. If you notice right here that's our input container name and this is our blob storage name. Now here it is asking you provide some more information. Um, so in our case let's say my blob start with test uh, always uh, and uh, then it ends uh, with the uh, dot uh, txt. So I'm looking for any file that start with the uh, test uh, and then uh, has the extension of a dot txt file. Uh, if that file is created or deleted uh, I want my uh, pipeline to run them. Um, and uh, see I just uh, click a uh, blob created and blob deleted them and here you can read more information now you can ignore empty blobs yes if the blob does not have any data then don't do anything with the trigger and or if you know you want to run even the file is empty still you can do that so you can check the uh, setting according to your requirement uh, and then you are saying uh, start trigger so I'm gonna go ahead and start trigger now this is all good I'm gonna go ahead and continue and there is no parameter I have and I'm gonna publish these uh, changes uh, once uh, these changes uh, will be published uh, will be all good uh, to test our uh, pipeline uh, here the name of the pipeline is called PL event test uh, and I'm gonna go to the monitor here and uh, then uh, we can take a look here as of now you see that uh, this pipeline has not been run at all uh, so uh, that's fine we can uh, simply go back here and now I'm in the input folder and I'm gonna upload a file that means I'm creating a file in this blob and I have multiple files with the test starting with test and these are txt files so I'm gonna load this uh, test file one and uh, then that should do it now this file is loaded I'm gonna go back to my Azure Data Factory here I'm gonna refresh in the monitor page I may have a pipeline runs and I'm gonna refresh here and you will notice uh, uh, a pipeline uh, run should be there because once we place the file uh, it should trigger the uh, our trigger, uh, pipeline uh. so I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, this pipeline because uh, we are testing PL event test and uh, that's uh, it's getting the data right now and uh, let's see if it uh, did run or not and trigger runs let's check the trigger runs and uh, trigger name I'm gonna go with the, uh, actually for this one 
okay this trigger see even trigger that did run and uh, it should run our pipeline so we, we can see that when we place the file this trigger uh, uh, ran um, now I'm gonna go to the pipeline runs again and uh, I'm gonna see right there this the uh, PL underscore even test is executed so by placing a file in some blob storage or data lake container what happened an event is created that's called the event based triggers and those events trigger our pipeline in the azure data factory that's what we are doing here now if i will go ahead and upload another maybe let's delete this file so it should trigger our pipeline one more time because the delete event happened here and it's deleting the blob right now okay the blob is deleted and uh, this is the, the event uh, should be occur now I should go back here in the pipeline runs and refresh uh, and uh, once I refresh uh, I should see some uh, pipeline runs uh. so you can see there on the delete event uh, the uh, trigger started and that trigger our pipeline here and if I go to the trigger runs I'm gonna see two trigger runs uh, so this second uh, trigger run uh, is uh, ha did happen for the delete uh, uh, first was happening for uh, uh, uploading file or creating file the second one happened for the delete file uh, and the uh, pipeline runs uh, has been uh, suc done successfully as well uh, uh, due to the event based trigger so uh, um, I will say um, you can explain all that details like hey I have the pipelines uh, where uh, we the files were placed on a uh, different blob storage on daily basis uh, and uh, then uh, uh, and there was some scenarios where files were created deleted and uh, we ran those pipeline depending on situations such as uh, add file or delete file um, and uh, that will be pretty good answer and you can explain all the steps like you create the pipeline you go to trigger you create use the even base trigger there there, there you have to provide the input container and then uh, the blob story name and the ending uh, criteria for the blob thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video